Hi guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around a Shore Track STRCH Pro Series Round Top Car Hauler. Shown here, it's white in color. It's got the ramp door at the rear. And we spec a lot of ours with the 9,900 pound uh, GVW with 5,200 pound axles. So I wanted to take you for a walk around this because this particular unit's changed a little bit in the last year. Short Track continues to add uh, features to this particular unit. So I want to showcase some of those new features for 2021. Let's take a walk around the unit, show you everything that's standard on this. So up front, uh, now standard is going to be a 7,000 pound drop leg jack and a uh, customary two and five sixteenth inch front coupler. Now one of the things with Shore Track, they do a nice job uh, blasting the steel, uh, very nice high gloss uh, black finish. So if you've never had a 7K drop leg jack, a little bit nicer uh, jack, normally it's what you'd find on more of an equipment grade trailer. So it's got a greaser up top, top line handle. Notice it's square instead of round. It does have a bolt on plate if you ever need to replace it can do so. It's got a plug for the uh, seven pin blade. Uh, standard on most modern pickup trucks, it is a dual prong connection. Uh, you'll notice that it is a sealed wire harness. It is grommeted, ran in frame. A lot of them will run the wiring stapled up, a little better protected. Also notice the uh, breakaway box is on the inside of the triple tube tongue, which is the other part of what they do. So this is a triple tube, not a traditional A-frame tongue. It can be a lot stronger. Climb underneath the trailer in a bit, show you the underside. You'll notice it's also capped up front, so your acid rain in that uh, stays out. You also notice the safety chains have hooks, and that is a very manly safety chain. A lot of your safety chains uh, for your box trailer 10Ks look like they belong in a single axle. That is a very healthy 10K GVW safety chain. More of an equipment style. You'll notice this has a 3 inch bottom trim. Uh, a lot of them use a 3 inch up top and then a 1 inch bottom. You'll notice this on a round top. It has a round top cove. So the cove on this is about 6 inch of your inside height. Uh, you'll notice front to back on that. That's all uh, a one-piece extruded. There's no seams in that. Uh, a lot of little details Short Track puts into their units. You'll notice a double lag where the roof comes down. You notice that's all mitered. There's no 90-degree butt cuts. Uh, bullet LED lights give it a nice clean look. Uh, you've got your got your bright chrome corners. This is a two-foot stone guard. Some of them use a shorter 12-inch or 16 and 18-inch stone guard. Uh, not only is this two foot, you'll notice the mitered corners. So some of them uh, don't trim out the stone guard. This one is, again, with the three inch trim. And then you'll notice uh, the lags on these are all just that. They're all lags, not trim screws. A lot of times uh, manufacturers will use trim screws on the trim. It's a little bit more secure. Very clean looking down the sides. It's because this is a screwless exterior. So all the way down the sides, you won't see a single rivet. It's got a front intake and a rear outtake for your side flow through vents. Designed for cross ventilation. Standard on these is a aluminum wheel. Now because this is a 10K, you'll notice it's a six lug. It's gonna have a 225-75 R15 eight ply radial tire standard. You also notice that there's no spring in between uh, the axles, there's no equalizer there. That's because this has torsion axles. So I'll show you that uh, in a second. But torsion axles acts as an independent suspension, similar to what's on, uh, say, a Cadillac, per se, whereas spring would be more what you would find underneath your pickup truck. Uh, independent suspension at each wheel. Uh, all your axle hardware is contained within the axle tube. So a couple other things back on the ramp door got four hinges a lot will have two or three or if they have four a lot of times you get mini hinges these are what I call the full width hinge they're about 10 inches got a grease dirt on them notice the uh, corners on these are finished out this has dual aluminum grab handles as well versus uh, uh, 
a lot of them will just have a single plastic or single aluminum this has duals it's also got backup lights it's another new for 2021 uh, so you got your standard indicator lights and then also uh, you've got backup now so also like the door hardware on these it's flexco hardware a little bit uh, a little bit uh, nicer to operate uh, than would be some of the Chinese hardware. This also has five standard uh, bumpers on your door. Notice that the door is also trimmed out a lot, leave that exposed steel. Another detail I guess I should before I put it all the way down. Notice how this door, I'm gonna let go, kind of glides down. Short Tracks doors are actually wound uh, the proper amount of sp spring rotations. That's not common, unfortunately, in our industry. So I'll give them credit for that. Ramp flap extension, standard equipment. Also notice that'd be what I call an over-under. Uh, tucks underneath the uh, backside so you won't catch on it. Uh, if you take a look at the lag spacing, this sounds silly, but a lot closer together than some, at least twice as many. Uh, we do repair or replace those quite often on some Georgia box trailers. So outside on these are going to be 8 foot 6 to the fenderette. Widest part of the box about 8 foot 4. Uh, it's going to give you about a foot less through to the door, roughly 7 foot 4 between spring cables. Corners are about 5 inches and then your spring gap there is about an inch on each side. So 7 foot 4 roughly on your width. And then your height, it's 6'6 six, six inside. Your header is about 6 inches, which takes you down to 6 foot. And then you're going to gain, some folks ask what a beaver tail is. You can kind of see the back end of the trailer tapers down. you got a 6 inch frame. That beaver tail is going to come down 4 inches. So you're going to get an angled floor, a beaver tail. It's going to net you roughly another 4 inches. You're going to get about 6 foot 3 and 3 quarters on your height through the door and then of course once you get inside it'll step up to 6'6". Short track on these uses a three quarter inch engineered floor. Uh, the walls a 3 8 birch wall liner, very nice clean look. Uh, not only do they use birch instead of OSB or Drymax or whatnot on the walls, uh, the birch is nice and then the, uh, the aluminum H mold gives it a very, very clean appearance. Also notice the uh, trim at the top kind of completes the look. There's no one uh, kind of raggedy looking trim. Sometimes new it's not too bad, but uh, on used a lot of times we got to staple up and replace the one trim. Uh, four D rings standard. Now, one thing not only are there D rings, but Short Track puts them in what I would call ideal placement for a vehicle. A lot of them just slam them into four corners. These are a little bit better thought out uh, if you're using this for what the average guy does, which would be hauling a car. Also notice the, the gloss or the shine on that fender box. Again, painted the same as the, um, as the uh, tongue of this. It's all blasted and has a nice clean appearance to it. Door on these, uh, this is an RV style door. Found filled door, solid. It's not a hollow uh, door like you'd sometimes see. It's got the uh, side door step well. Notice it's a metal handle, not plastic. And then uh, from the outside, you can lock this handle and then you can also deadbolt it to lock it from the inside. Residential style switches instead of the uh, 12 volt. Now Short Track uses a one piece aluminum roof on this. And then between the one piece roof and the uh, bows, you'll notice a ceiling liner. Now that, uh, that liner not only looks good, uh, but it also does have a piece of reflective insulation in it, help keep the trail a little cooler. And little details again, you'll notice Short Track puts a piece of flat uh, where each seam would come together, so there's no uh, no chance that uh, the uh, roof there sagging between seams. So you've got a dome light front. You've also got one rear. You can tell this is a 16 on center wall. If you ever want to put any shelving or anything in, simply follow the verticals. And again, 16 inch uh, on centers. That would be on the floor and wall. Now the ceilings are two foot centers. And all the studs in the uh, walls and ceilings are all made from tube. There's no hack post or uh, Z post in this particular unit. 
So the door on this is a 48 inch side door, not a 32 or 36. It's also got an aluminum door hold back. A lot of times these hold backs you'll see will be made from plastic. Okay, for the folks that aren't familiar with the beaver tail, let me show you how they do it. It's pretty, pretty slick. So, first of all, the D-rings, I like how they're made. If you look underneath a lot of them, they're uh, just made out of a piece of flat. That's a lot nicer done. This bumper is also made out of tube steel. It's not made out of form like a lot. And if you look here, uh, not only are these all undercoated, but this outrigger here is made out of tube, same as the mainframe versus a lot of them will do the outrigger just out of a floor cross member, which isn't gonna be near as strong as that piece of tube. That's very important. You also notice on the axle, uh, that's torsion, not a spring axle as I was talking about earlier. So again, this particular unit's a 20 footer. We stock these in uh, 24s also in 28s, commonly in white, silver, charcoal, and black. Uh, typically these will most all be in a 9,900 pound GVW. Also stock a few other variations of short tracks in the Wedge Nose and the Landscape Pros. So if you're looking for something a little bit different than this, let us know. As long as you're looking for a professional grade trailer, I'm sure we have something in our short track series that will work for you. If you have any questions on this, feel free to give us a ring at 717 220-4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com.